One reason why Allah is a pagan God, according to chapter 2, verse 62, where I highlighted, according to chapter 2, as we are in chapter 2, verse 62, it says, those who believe in the Quran and those who follow the Jewish scriptures and the Christians and the Sabians, any who believes in Allah and the last day and walk righteousness shall have their reward with their Lord. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. First thing, what is the problem? Quran, translated by Yusuf Ali, we find this particular problem. Those who believe in the Quran, this particular verse was given in the early, this is just chapter 2. So in the early stages of Muhammad, when he was just trying to recruit people into Islam, he was going from place to place and trying to imitate small, small from different, different religions to create his own religion. And so because he did this, according to what the Adit, he did this, look at the promises that somebody is saying. He says, those who believe in the Quran, there's, there is a group of people who believe in the Quran. And then we say, and those who follow the Jewish scripture, there is the group of people who follow the Jewish scripture. And it says, and the Christians. So there is the group of people who follow the Christians. And the Sabians, who are the Sabians? Star worshippers. People who are worshipping stars in the sky. Stars, my dear friends. Mm. Uh, any who believes in Allah on the last day, so we have the first group of people, the Quran, those who believe the Quran, the second group, the Jews, the third group, the Christians, the fourth group, the Sabians, the Sabians, which are the star worshippers, the star, the Sabians, and anyone who believes in Allah or the last day shall have a reward from their Lord, with their Lord, and on them shall be no grief. So, what is the problem? The problem is that we have a huge and a massive recruitment happening in this passage here, whereby Muhammad, if you are saying your God is the only true God, according to what the Christians are saying, then the Christians can never open, you will never see a Christian saying, any Muslim is coming to heaven, is going to go to heaven if he dies as a Muslim. Why? Because he rejected the cross the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. He rejected the sacrifice Jesus Christ made on the cross for his sins to be forgiven. He rejected it because he willingly decided to reject it. So he willingly decided to go away from Jesus Christ. That is just as simple as that. You will never find a Christian saying something like, hey, star worshippers who decides to worship stars all over their life. So you have Jupiter, Mercury, what's, I don't know the names of stars even, any kind of stars that are there outside. And you sit down today, you say, okay, today I'm worshiping this star that is standing here. Tomorrow I'll be worshiping, my friend is worshiping that other star that's standing there. And then all of a sudden you tell them that, hey, if you're worshiping those stars and you are behaving as those stars are saying, if you die, you're going to heaven. Guys, no Christians can ever say that. No, Christian, because that is not what Jesus Christ is teaching us. Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life. So if you find a prophet anywhere in this universe saying something like, everybody can go to heaven, no matter whatever you want to believe. Believe in the stars. You want to believe in your stars? Believe in it. You are going to come to heaven. Uh, your God is going. Your God is going to give you access to heaven. Believe in Jesus Christ, you Christians. Hey, you are saying Jesus is God because you saw in the Bible is written in John chapter one, in Genesis chapter one, in Hebrews chapter one. Yes, believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you will go to heaven. He, Jesus Christ, will give you your eternity. Hey, the Jews, you want to go to heaven? Yeah. You you are going to go to heaven because believe in, in the Lord Yahweh. Believe in Yahweh, Yahweh, and you will have eternal life. And so you find that kind of a prophet saying anybody believing in anything, whether they bow down to stars, they are still going to heaven and they are going to have a reward from their own God. Guys, this is obviously a false prophet. There are no two ways to detect a false prophet. This is obviously a false prophet. A true person coming from the Lord 
will tell you one single way because this Jewish and the Christ, the Jews, anyways, the Jews are the Jewish scriptures are the are five books. All the Jewish scriptures are five or six five books of the Old Testament of the Bible, the Old Testament. So the Bible is divided to the New and the Old Testament, and so and the Old Testament is something like thirty nine books, and the New Testament is something like twenty seven books, and then the Jews, the Jewish scriptures are five of the books of the Old Testament. Five. So, and then the Christians they are having sixty six books, and then the Sabians I don't know for them because they are worshiping stars. So, at the end of the day, we find out these people they are having, and these people the Jews and the Christians they are having the same God, and then and provided the Jews, the Jews and the Christians they are having the same God Yahweh, and then the Sabians they are believing whatsoever they want to believe, and then those who believe in the Quran, the Jew, the Mohammedans, the people, the the, Moham, the Muslims they are believing in all that things. So we have. Three different religions here, and anyone who believes in Allah, this are the Muslims. So at the end of the day, we have three different people believing in three different things. Muhammad was just going around the place looking for the believers around him and telling him, Hey, believe in whatsoever you want to believe. Hey guys, I'm coming to you with one new religion. It says, Whatever you believe, whatever you believe in, whatever the practices you are doing, you are going to go to heaven. You're going to have a reward from your Lord. Guys, pay attention to that kind of prophet. Surrender, give your life to Christ. He said, Jesus said, he is the only way for anyone to be saved. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And anyone, and anyone who wants to go to heaven must pass through him. Surrender yourself to Jesus Christ. Surrender yourself to Jesus Christ. Stay blessed in Jesus' name.